Hey everyone, so I know I promised that I would not get away from the MathWorks documentation page, you know, the Holy Bible of MATLAB users, but um, it's kind of awkward how they don't even introduce the layout, so uh, I feel like you need to know kind of what you're working with before you get started and have a, a general idea of the MATLAB user interface. Um, so I'm going to provide an introduction to their documentation. So. Um, Pretty much we're just going to go over the major components that are on the screen as you see it right now. So uh, first of all we have the command window which is this section right over here and pretty much you just type in commands into this. So you say, I don't know, uh, 1 plus 2 and then you get the answer which is 3. And that uh, value 3 gets stored in a variable that's called answers and it's stored in the workspace. In the workspace. So uh, Anyways, don't worry about the variable right now, but the point is, uh, the command window is where you type things in, you know, 10 plus 10, 2 times 2, etc. So, um, the command window can help you run things, so there's, you know, different options in MATLAB, like you can say run, and then you type in whatever you want to run, MATLAB goes in and processes, processes whatever you want it to do. Uh, from the command window. Um, so please don't worry about the commands that I'm typing in right now. We're going to get into those later, but uh, the command window is where you type in information. Um, so the other section that I just briefly said was the workspace. So if you remember I said, uh, what was it I said, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Uh, that value 4 was stored in this variable called ANTS, which is short for answer. Um, so this is just MATLAB's default uh, storage place for anything that you type into the command window. Um, you can store it into different variables or sections or bins or arrays or things like that. Uh, but again, that's not the subject here. I'm getting away from myself. Um, so down here you see the current folder. Um, so note, note that your layout may be a little bit different, but the major sections are defined you know, they say current folder or workspace or command window. Uh, so you can always find them like that. But this current folder section is directly tied to this uh, kind of directory bar up at the top. So um, if you didn't know, my name is Raul and I own Engineer Tomorrow. But now that you know my information, I guess I don't really care anymore. You can see my name. It's Raul. But anyways, you know, in the C directory, the users, Raul, documents, MATLAB. That's where uh, we're currently looking right now. Um, and as you can see, the current folder is empty. So if I were to save something in this directory, it would show up in this current folder. So in the future, you can store functions and you know, uh, text files and things like that that you can open up uh, using the current. Uh, you can open up uh, directly from the command window. Uh, and you can look at where they are in, from your current folder. Um, there's options here to go up, so up a level, so you can go from your um, from where you are to another place. Uh, so I guess you would go up to documents, and then if you hit it again, you go up to role and users, etc. But um, in the interest of not showing you my whole uh, directory, so that you guys can hack my system, um, I prefer to just show you this empty MATLAB section. But anyways, um, here you can also click and go to a, for a folder. So you see it says browse for a folder. Uh, if you click that, you get to go in and look for wherever uh, you want MATLAB to have its current folder. Um, so then the last part I wanted to discuss were these uh, tabs that you see at the top. So right now we're currently in the home tab. Um, here you see options like new script, new, open. You know, in the new section it has different options. You can create a function, a class, a system object, a figure, a graphical user interface, you know, and other stuff too. Uh, you can hit open and see, uh, you know, find where whatever MATLAB file you're trying to open is and open it from there. You can also open uh, .mat files, which kind of store a bunch of variables and other content you want to use using this open section. You can find files, you can import data. Um, here you have the preferences. So this is very useful if you want to change the layout of your user interface. 
uh, with MATLAB. Um, there's the help, which uh, relates over to the documentation center, as I was saying before. Um, and if you need more help, you can always type in, you know, help, and then whatever you want help with in MATLAB. Um, and that's very helpful. Uh, the other tabs that I have currently are plots. Uh, this, you know, it says here plot, uh, you, you can make a bar plot or bar graph, an area plot, a pie plot, histogram, and there's, there's many more options if you look here. Um, so, you know, it pretty much describes what it is. It's a plot tab. You can find plot stuff. And then the last section that you have on that I have on mine is the apps. Um, so these apps are based on what uh, packages of MATLAB that you have. Um, and from here you can see things like uh, PID tuner, signal analysis, you know, filter design and analysis, curve fitting. Uh, you can get more apps. You can install apps, package apps. It's very appy. Um, <laughs> But anyways, uh, that's the app section. There's one more thing I wanted to show you, and it's the script. So if you click new script, uh, it, it gets over here to the editor, and as right now it's called entitled. So uh, you hit, you save it as whatever you want, and you get, you know, you store your MATLAB file. So you can type in here uh, one plus two, and then two plus two, three plus two, and if you run that. Um, you see that in the command window, it's pretty much like you put each of these commands into the command window and you get, you know, answer three, answer four, answer five. But notice that the answer only stores the last, uh, I guess, command that you fed into MATLAB and it's stored here as five. So uh, the, the script actually helps you to type in very complex code, you know, uh, you can create multiple scripts and talk from one script to the other script and have it run in different sections of your code. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Pretty much use the script if you want to save whatever you want to input into the command window. Uh, you know, often if you type multiple commands, you want it to be in, uh, in a script because it gets you know, all jumbled up in the command window and it's kind of hard to work with. So the script, I actually had a friend who uh, we were running our code and he actually used the command window for everything that we were doing. So um, if, if you press up on the command window, you see the old, uh, the old things that you typed in. Um, there is a function here, you can go to Facebook and I was trying to open Facebook using the web or using the web function in MATLAB, um, but anyways, you can go to the old things that you've done, and um, you know run those. So, uh, say our code had multiple steps. You had one plus two. Oh, sorry, one plus two, and then after running one plus two, you had to do one plus three. You know, there's a simplified version, but basically you had to do one step and then the other. Um, so, he was actually going in. And we had to run our code for different cases, so he would go in and try to find whatever case it was or whatever command he used, and he would press enter and have that run. And then he'd come back in here, do, you know, do it for the next one and for the next one. So there was multiple steps, so he had to do that over and over and over and over again. And that's because nobody told him about the script. So, you know, the script is very useful to run multiple commands at the same time. So I hope that uh, that kind of story helps you appreciate the use of the script. So the document center doesn't tell you that up front, but the script is very useful. So uh, we'll talk about that more in the future, but just wanted to give you guys an overview of the MATLAB user interface. Uh, please let us know if you have any other questions and I'll see you next time.